Hello everyone, I'm Nate Asher and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. In the last episode, we uh, you know, awoke Voldemort, of course, and uh, opened the sealed temple, so that's cool. Pretty mossy though. No way I'm gonna catch him. Oh, yes. Oh. What I was waiting for. No one ever thinks about, you know, Link always on his feet. Dogs be barking. Look at that. Dude, this fairy looks so cool and pretty though. Nice. Dude, uh, what's that make me think of? I mean, the Zelda thing it makes me think of is the, um, the Minish, like Elder, um, from the Minish Cap. But the like, pop culture, I guess, thing it makes me think of would be like Arthur and the Invisibles or something like that. Oh, oh no. Got the metric, she's a rapper. The old one. That's her rap name. Ah, uh, the traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, the traveler descended from the clouds above. I welcome you, child of fate. Mm -hmm. Looks like she's made out of wood. So weird. Kind of reminds me of the. Um, I don't remember what they were. They were like they weren't the Skull Kids, but they were like the puppet things from uh, Twilight Princess and the Lost Woods. You know what I'm talking about? Tell me, what is your name? James. Ah, James. Good. Very good. Since you have already gained control over the sacred power that fills the soul of one haunted skyward, the skyward strike is for us. <laughs> it is proof that you are fit to bear the blade you carry, the goddess Thor. I have sat here for many years waiting for you to arrive, all so that I could fulfill my purpose as your guide. Perseverance, though. You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess an eternity ago. Your arrival here was predestined many, many years ago. Spirit Raiden you seek arrived here shortly before you. Descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it. Years of fate have begun to turn. <laughs> Yet, all is not as it should be. The Spirit Raiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. Feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which you are a part. <laughs> James, you are concerned for the student maiden to seek her whereabouts, yes? That is understandable, but for now you must focus on moving forward. 
girl has her own purpose, she must pursue you. you. She set out for Farron Woods to discover that destiny for herself and let's follow. Show me your map. The X on your map marks the path that will lead you to Farron Woods. You will be traveling in unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here. Your map may not pr prove guidance enough for your journey. And so I will give you the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, uh, okay, tutorial stuff, you can put points on your map like you can on Google Maps or App Apple Maps, and then this light will shine whenever we get out of the um, out of the map screen. You haven't set a beacon over X yet. Okay, okay, so you have to, alright, yes. So, zoom in. Ah, uh, crap. Where's my, yes I know. Yep. You tell me that's close enough. Oh, you cannot see it from where you are. A beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. You no longer have a use for a beacon. You can remove it with A and blah blah blah. Oh no, you must head into Farron Woods and chase after the spirit maiden, one you call Zelda. On your way out, take the contents of the treasure chest within this room. What you find there should prove useful to you on your journey. You are ready. You through the door before you head into the woods. I wish you safe travel. Know that all the questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, James, go bravely. Another bottle and the potion, of course. But this is Zelda, so empty bottle or not empty bottle, but Hey look, it's the beacon that I like half out of the new place. Alright. Uh I need to do something, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I like that this uh Zelda game since it has the like three sixty camera and it's not um you know, the Nintendo 64 didn't have that, so they, you had to control the camera with the Z button, the target, or change the camera with the C directional button, or whatever on some games. I don't know. Point is, <laughs> is that whenever I play uh, Ocarina of Time or any of the ROM hacks, I, uh, when I am just standing before I start the recording, I want it to, the camera to be on link sometimes, and it always auto like, fixes itself to, or the camera fixes itself behind link, so. Out of the way! Scram! Gonna help this Goron. Oh yeah, these guys also see their own 
hold there. Thanks for jumping in there to rescue me, bud. Ooh. Just who were those red pests? I did not expect to run into a pack of them in this peaceful forest. Same goes for you. This is the second time I've bumped into one of your kind today. I tell you, all sorts of weird things are going on lately. I owe you big for taking care of those guys. So let me tell you something fascinating. Hey, bud. I'm a, I am Gorko the Goron. I am researching the ancient history of these woods here. According to the ancient texts, there's some kind of place up above called the Isle of the Goddess, far up in the sky. Apparently, these old statues serve as landmarks to those traveling up to the sky or down from this Isle of the Goddess place. If you find one, be sure to examine it to keep tabs on the number of landmarks. They're rumored to be quite useful. Supposedly, this statue is special, as it is said to have the ability to activate all the other statues. The whole thing sounds a little crazy, I know, but I for one believe it to be true. Otherwise, why would all these statues be here all over the place? <clears throat> it has a real head scratcher, bud. Makes you want to know more, does it not? Yeah. Oh! Ah, sounds like I have a fellow connoisseur of ancient cultures here. Alright bud, you had better brace yourself because I'm about to blow your mind. So get this, people actually live on this sky island. And they get around by flying on the back of huge birds that are way bigger than birds down here. Up there, everyone reveres the goddess. And the residents of all the islands in the sky live in a perfect society. Totally free of conflict or unhappiness. Not only that. But from what I can tell, their civilization is way, way more advanced than ours down here. But it does not even stop there, bud. The Isle of the Goddess has even more stuff to marvel at. The place was crafted by the Goddess herself, so it figures that it is filled with wonders we do not have here. The buildings are all made of gold. An endless spring of mystical water feeds a river through the place. One sip of that stuff, and you live forever. Trees are heavy with plump fruit that cures all disease. Fields are crowded with pumpkins that never rot. Magic wildflowers bloom everywhere. And the weather, oh the weather bud. Not too hot, not too cold. No chance of sweaty, he sweaty heat in this garden paradise. That is the Isle of the Goddess. Amazing, right? Wrong! It is beyond amazing. You want to hear more about it, don't you bud? Uh, I'm, I'm good now. Ah, uh, that's so, bud. I was hoping to tell you more, but I guess it can wait. <laughs> you can't tell I've got... I uh, took inspiration from um, Daruk. The uh, voice actor for Daruk. Uh, from Breath of the Wild, but... Whoa! Hmm... What in the world just happened? Did you use some kind of magic? The statue react the moment you got near it, bud. How crazy is that? Alright. What was that? The statue just react to you. What did you do? Come on. Do not make a big guy big. I have got to know. I, I might make you big.
nice. Now we can get back here. But if what that Goron said was true, then activating that goddess statue must have activated this one. Nice. Probably shouldn't uh, go back through the temple. That old woman might think I'm just uh, goofing around, you know. Well, let's go this way instead. Master, now that you've accessed the sun statue, you can return to the sky at will. Furthermore, by using a certain amiibo figure, you can return to the sky from anywhere on the surface and come back to where you left. Please call me anytime you would like to use an amiibo. You can also enable and, you know. So, I wanted to get this amiibo, but it was sold out before it was even, like, available. So, I will get one. I just didn't get one the day it was supposed to be you know available for purchase same with the uh, the uh, Joy-Cons I wanted to get the Zelda Joy-Cons but they were sold out before they were available Farron Woods good old Farron Woods Actually, I have a friend named Farron. I don't think that her parents uh, were inspired from Farron Woods, but fun to pretend, didn't it? Got like a loose hair or something on my. Okay, I need to. There we go. Sometimes this thing gets so out of uh, calibration. Alright, so that way. Which way'd they go, Scoob? Oh, look at that. Never fell before it uh, unloaded. That's awesome. You're wondering why I'm saving it every single statue? Because when I played this on the Wii, even though um, the Goron said that that one statue is supposed to activate the other statues. There were times that I needed to warp down into a certain area and I remembered there being a statue there. I just didn't want to save at the time, but I couldn't warp to it because I didn't actually, like, interact with it. And I, but like I also remember it being a thing um, that guy went in was fixing the fence a couple episodes ago he said like you have to interact with it right I don't know I just do it out of habit better be safe than sorry it takes 10 seconds ooh that's actually a pretty rare drop. A real rarity among skull, skull ornaments. That's a really rare drop. Heck yeah. See you. Huh? 
on crying. <coughs> no, there's a green one! I didn't even know they came in green. Don't hurt me. <laughs> These slopes. Remind me of the, um, I don't remember exactly which Pokemon game it was, but like, those games, or the Pokemon games where you could get the, there's two different types of bikes, there was one that, when you, like, you could only go, like, straight really fast, and it took a little bit to get to top speed, but it allowed you to get up these like slippery slopes that you couldn't get up otherwise. And then there's another bike that you had to get if you wanted to like ride rails or just ride normally. But I don't know. It always makes me think about. Oh gosh. It spotted me again. Wee. Huh? You don't want to eat me? Hmm. I'm trying to think of it. Why did you fight all those red monsters? I'm Maki. I'm Key Queen. You seem okay, even though you're scary. Thanks for helping me. Yeah. That's weird. A little while ago, I ran into another funny animal like you, but that one was a girl. Who? Yeah. I don't know who she was, but she seemed to be in big trouble when I saw her. Be a friend of yours? Yeah. A pack of those mean red guys were after her. If she escaped with the key, we yelled her. Master, we have obtained information on Zelda's current status. The information indicates that she was assailed by monsters, but somehow evaded capture. However, I infer that she is still in significant danger. I have marked the position of the key queen known as Maki. Please confirm your current location. Furthermore, my analysis suggests that this Kikui most likely produces a false positive dousing reaction due to previous direct contact with Zelda. Using this hypothesis, I theorize there is an 85% chance that the Kikui Elder will also generate a dousing reaction for the same reason. I propose to continue dousing to for Zelda. You really spooked me! Need some very strange company, friend. You link. Sounds like you're set in finding this friend and the elder. You're heading that way anyway. Would you mind telling your elder that I'm safe? Cheer up. I bet your friend is safe with our elder. Alright, well let's hope so. 
that's gonna do it for this episode guys if you enjoyed please leave a like I always appreciate that and subscribe if you're not that way you will get notified when the next episode goes up or when other videos like the master time rom hack and other series that I upload just when I finish editing them uh, throughout the week while people are waiting for uh, Friday so uh, if you're not already subscribed then you're not uh, getting notified about those videos so uh, it's free just click subscribe and click the bell so that YouTube knows to send you notifications and I will see you guys next week. Bye